welcome back to the European Universe 1999 again and uh, today we are starting chapter 3 <laughs> um, I actually already started it uh, when I was sick 3 months ago <laughs> so I am gonna pop that part of the recording right here and then uh, you'll come back to me of the present <laughs> I'm very sorry for me of the past, she has a terrible voice because she was terribly sick <laughs> but she was trying to get some drops to pull for um, Tooth Fairy, so forgive her. <laughs> Let's start chapter 3. They... they are babies. Babies! Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, I see an NPC here and I see maybe a sonnet, maybe a Bertin. Let's see. Uh, Chaldin oracles? Heads up and answer the question. A delicate badge will be given to the best student. That would be Sonetto, probably. <laughs> well, also Vertin is very smart. What is up with this piece of her? Sorry. <laughs> now it's gone. <laughs> it's a freebie, but also no reward, so... <laughs> very worried about this, very pressed. Oh. I can't read French, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I would have tried, but it was so fast, <laughs> and I'm a slow reader, so in French even worse. <laughs> what Arcanists oh. regard to be more important <laughs> is the knowledge from another pathway, which is often known as mm. Gnosis. Compared with mankind's knowledge gained from reasoning, what are the features of Gnosis? Gnosis? <laughs> like the Gnosis from um, Genshin Impact? <laughs> Compared with mankind's knowledge gained from reasoning. What are the features? Sonetto. Ah, oh, my golden girl. Miss, the features of Gnosis are 1. It cannot be verified by an independent third party <laughs> and 2. It is impossible to be comprehended through reasoning. My god, so baby, so small. She's so... Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. She's too adorable. <laughs> exactly. And that's also one of the reasons that the knowledge of the study of Arcanum is hard to be accepted by the academic world. Ah, so no reasoning can, com can comprehend it? The academic research is required to be open to the public and can pass the independent tests. But the unpredictability of Arcanum will lead to the arcane researches to methodological agnosticism. Ooh, I am familiar with agnosticism. Well, maybe they'll explain what this means now. Thus, all the trainings and the scientific stabilizing appliances that the school provided for you is to overcome the instability of your arcane skill oh. in order to ensure the peace and stability of the human world. May the peace be with us! My god. <laughs> they sounded like aliens more than children. <laughs> oh, j'ai presque été assez rapide pour répondre à cette question. Comment elle a? Comment elle a pu être si rapide? That's all French. <laughs> um, is this uh, Matilda? Uh, let me just read it out. Oh, I was almost quick enough to answer this question. How could, uh, how could she be so fast? <laughs> Next question. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the number of arcanists, along with the related literature, have reduced correspondingly. Who can tell us the history of that time in brief? I'm curious too. Miss! Miss! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Adorable! I... I... Miss! I know this one! <laughs> Are you two competing? That's so cute! Senato. Huh? But Matilda got there first! Huh? Aww. As the Roman Empire declined, some arcanists were tempted by the irrational side of their nature and applied magia naturalis in warfare and disputes over interests, which irritated the church and other powers of religion. Wow, those are a lot of words for someone like this small. <laughs> At that time, people in Europe widely considered Arcanum to be the paganism that collaborates with the demons, hence the trials against Arcanists. I am guessing that the voice actor, voice actress, was not given too many instruction not to give away the plot because her small voice and her adult voice, at least in this part, are not that different. In response, Arcanus struck back fiercely. 
However, due to their spontaneous character and the unpredictability of their whereabouts, their communication was unsuccessful during the fight. I see. Both sides struggled in repeated battles. In the end, mankind, jointly led by both their religious and secular leaders, prevailed. Uh huh. That can't be. That's not how Grandpa told me. Then good thing he didn't answer. <laughs> Miss, she's wrong. Oh my. I know. I know the right answer. All right, give it a try, Matilda. Huh? So which one is the right one if she is letting her answer after Sonetto? For what I know, it wasn't Arcanus who started the war. The attack on Constantinople was waged by lordships in Western Europe to ransack the capital for resources and the literature of Arcana. The nursery rhyme my grandpa sang for me tells me all about it. Oh. And long ago, Arcanists weren't called by this name. They were once gifted philosophers, diviners, or doctors. Oh, wow. Until they were put on the labels of pagans, freaks, and witches, and isolated by their people. Well, there are two sides of history. The side that won is usually the one that is most, more recogni recognized. So if... Uh, Humans won, maybe Sonetto's uh, um, point of view or Sonetto's information were the ones that prevailed. They were entirely <coughs> forgotten. The next time people saw them, they had this new name Arcanists. Inspiring. Do you remember its name? Uh, Grandpa never told me that. How about the melody? Could you present several lines for the class? Um... Let me think. It was like... Uh, uh, that's not it. Uh, uh, why are you doing this, Miss Teacher? Could, I, could you just say which one is right, or if they are both right? From both po from different point of views? Oh, that's weird. I... I can't remember it. Well, the, the San Pablo's did took in children, and Vertin does also have missing memories. So maybe this is one of my my um, um, clues that she also doesn't remember something. Haha! <laughs> Don't remember a thing, but still feel confident oh, enough to up. answer the question. Shame on you, little thing. Why these shadows look looks like uh, it has? Uh, um, uh, regular set. <laughs> I was even umming the horn last night. It's just a. Uh, mm. Oh, maybe under pressure, you don't remember. Valid. Sit down, please, Matilda. Oh. Sonetto is correct. Oh. Matilda, you have just transferred here. It may take you some time to get used to our curriculum. Hmm. A rhyme can be used in studying folklore. But it's still different from a formal historical intelligence. Mm, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's true, but depends. In this context, I'm not sure. <laughs> Class, please turn to the last question of the test. Yes, ma'am. After the Ottoman Empire seized control over Constantinople, Georgius Gemistos, a member of our Sharon commune, also an arcanist and philosopher of the Roman Empire, traveled to Florence. He brought one classical literature of ancient theurgy into the city, which sparked discussion and later brought about the annual humanist gathering, the Chaldea Conference, where the study of Arcanum was debated over its use for mankind development. Who knows the name of his work brought by Gemistos? Sonetto? Miss! Me! <laughs> me! Miss! Please! Oh, I know this she was first. I don't know! Hmm. Her eyes falls on the desk next to Sonetto. There is a short wall made of books on the desktop. Desktop, sorry. Vertin, do you know the answer to this question? Is Vertin not a good student? Vertin? <laughs> She's sleeping. The instructor walks down from the podium. Vertin. She is absent again. She's straight up not there. <laughs> oh, 
Don't you need to? Did you try to cover for her? Miss! I know the answer! Matilda, read the room. <laughs> it is Caladia Oracles! Oh, she does use a, a little crystal ball, so maybe she would know. Oh, to be continued. Ah, narrator! A trace! Mama, mama, mama. No, you are not awake yet. Who is you? You are still drowned in this mire of meditation. Sticky, swampy, and dark. Ew. <laughs> Where am I? Is this my memory? Is this Vertina in the storm? Having like a dream of her past? Um, is this my memory? <clears throat> memory. Good try. The logic you pride yourself on continues to serve you properly. Thank you. <laughs> it allows you to make some good deductions here, like a biologist analyzing the cause of a humpback appearing in a swamp. Again, too many analogies, I'm getting lost. <laughs> but uh, the racer keeps complimenting me, so I like you. <laughs> but the answer will disappoint you, unfortunately. Oh. This is just a dream, an I illusion see. they shoveled into your head. These people are very familiar with using coercive power. Who shoved it into our head? They are? A group of people in gowns. Their gowns are made of white polyester and are over knee length. There are seven, namely number one to number seven. Huh? Probably only those odd number guys are here. Or maybe number four. Or six is also with them. Damn it, I don't care. This might explain why it's, it's all cubey. And it's not really a map. What matters is that your classmate is among them. No, not the gentle and loyal one who always stands by your side. Huh? It is the other one. The one with indifferent outlines that makes her look like a refined machine. Not Sonetto, so it's... Uh... So this one is Matilda, not Vertin. So it's Matilda, my other classmate. Let's skip her first name and only pay attention to her glorious family name. Like what most people did. Oh my. Like sherry cask whiskeys to the alcoholic. Upman cedar-aged Robusto Cameroons to smokers. And the Mesmers to the Arcanus. Mesmers? Also, this is called open sandwich. What? <laughs> I see bougie. <laughs> what do they do? Anything mystical. When they sit there and point at you with an iron stick, you'll pass out. When they put an iron ring around your neck, you'll feel burnt. <clears throat> okay. You must be familiar with all these freaky tricks. Because be? you are surrounded by freaky tricksters. Like that little girl who protects others with her glass dipping pen, or that floating apple dancing in the air. <laughs> the mesmers know how to suffocate the flames of consciousness. They help you free fall internally to the bottom of the abyss, as so, you are now. So the, he, he was talking about numbers. And I know there are some characters banner coming out that are named after numbers. Maybe those are the people. Am I gonna meet them? I wanna meet them before pulling for them. <laughs> I know there might be an event, so maybe I will meet them. It's really hard finding an arcanist who can freely master such skill. As you know, scarcity causes tragedy. That was the start of her nightmare. When the child labor law was turned into a piece of wrinkled paper to wrap the sandwich. Get you so lost. <laughs> Stop. The young daughter of the Mesmer family was led to a room when she was 12. Before she stepped in, she had sensed the messy magnetic field on the other side of the door, thanks to her acute perception. Hmm. Compared to humans, Arcanists are much more emotionally vulnerable. It won't take much to overwhelm them and force them to regress to animals. The Mesmers are merciful and professional. 
They will never turn away any patient who comes to them for treatment. By then, you should realize the wrapping paper was never protecting the sandwich, but the hand. I cannot with these analogies, I am really so lost. <laughs> the mustard from an unknown <laughs> bottle, the squeezed meatloaf and rusty lettuce leaf, all were crushed and fell out from between the bread. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I think we will understand this better, be patient with me. <laughs> Just like the chaotic noises and the raspy screaming that fill her ears. This filth contaminated the little girl's hands and corrupted the white polyester. Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed a good time for silence. Is it? Now you've noticed those exposed wounds on the machine, those marks from repeated washing and adjustments. Well, the traumata from childhood is usually hard to forget. Those memories are engraved in our heart and run through our veins. Eventually, they contaminate every single neuron with mucus snot. So I'm not sure this is Matilda. I would assume that, but uh, her name was something like uh, Matilda Juanich or something like that. Or something like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think she said it in one of her voice lines and it was a mesmer. Since then, every inch of growth is an extension of pain. New bones will be eroded and the condition can't be cured by cellular renewal. Both you and her are familiar with this. Okay, take your suitcase. Now it's time. Get lost. Okay, thanks for this. Okay. It's black and sharp, but it's hopping around. What are you doing in my memories? <laughs> I'm okay, so this should be quick. <laughs> Squeaking? It's mad. Over in your ear. It's also an hologram. What a wish, timekeeper. It would be great if I met you and your rubble first. <gasps> rubble? Mr. Carson, where are you? Oh. Does a critter talk that much? Oh. She's hearing voices. Oh my god, okay, I'm fine. <laughs> They're just little games. Just as I am. Okay, should be Release! about Dawn. Yes! Hip hip! Hooray! Pizza! <gasps> Twenty drops! Yes, yummy! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for the sustenance. Um, okay, yes, I have so much time. Frog and toffee. Pebbles, frogs, the attic with stinky socks. Ew. Oh, this is 13. Who is this? This is not Sonetto. And this is a doctor? Um, maybe it's someone important because they don't have the square representation. Ah, huh. sorry, I didn't finish reading. They're just a teeny tiny part of the whole world. A freebie. And not a word, how dare you? <laughs> oh? Baby! The, the last class is over. Students leave the classroom with their friends in groups. Goodbye, miss. What's your need to? Hmm? Oh, so baby, hi, Vertin. I will just take another route. Oh? You're not friends. Sonetto. <gasps> Maybe you are? Come here. Is my book is... still there? She didn't push it down, right? <laughs> oh god, she's so cute. <laughs> she didn't. <sighs> she is nice. Unlike the bad potion instructor who turned my books into a puddle of mud. Wow. Oh, right. 
Guess what I found today? What did you find? A frog, maybe? Here, give me your hand. You should ask if she's scared of frogs first, but you're a kid. <laughs> Look, so the cute. The of the brain, the Hylorborium. It croaked. <laughs> I caught it through the school's front gate. I even got stung by the electric fence when I took my hands back. Electric fence? The fuck? It keeps croaking in my pocket. Look, it's still raining outside. We think yeah, the, the frog didn't get hurt. Aren't you aware that you've been given a timeout, Miss Burton? Huh? Timeout? I don't understand why you always skip classes. You know that we are not supposed to pay too much attention to affairs outside the school. Please, don't bring me these pebbles and frogs anymore. That's why she was denying that she liked the outside, or she called it. They called it. These are... meaningless. Oh, how harsh. We are born to die martyrs. Jesus Christ. That's a kid talking. Why? Just because the student handbook says so? That's right. Oh my god. Where I don't like the are we? It smells like those stinky socks in the attic. <clears throat> oh my god. Sonato, aren't you really curious about what is outside the school? You were also in that parade outside the school before. The pebbles, the frogs, the attic with stinky socks. They're just a teeny tiny part of the whole world. I once met a girl who came to our school. Please, please stop. These are very dangerous things. <coughs> the student handbook is protecting us. Hmm. It is protecting us from harm and regrets. X to doubt. <laughs> harm and regrets? Of what? As the instructors have told us, to live is to lose things around us until the day we lose life itself to death. That's why we should only focus on the supreme missions. Are you in a cult? <laughs> Are you still in the institution in San Pavlo or something? Because this is very culty. Until the day we lose life itself. To death. Now, now it's coming, my lord. What? Don't forget my heart. Oh my god. Oh. I have nightmares Failed. about this. Failed? <clears throat> the dramatic segment has been reactivated. Increase the power, stabilize her psych cube. Try the next dream. Psych cube? The artificial sonambulism I... therapy may not work on her, Mesmer. You're here, Madam Z. I have you. <laughs> All patients who have the symptoms of stress disorder need to receive treatments in the rehabilitation center. Her trauma level was assessed as a type 2. Mm. I needed to take responsibility for her health. Maybe that's why she doesn't feel much if this is some kind of therapy that diminishes trauma. Back in the year when she became the timekeeper, she didn't receive any treatment. I know her well. She has enough power in her to make it through. Mm. I'm just following orders, madam. It is the committee's direct order to treat Fairton. You're so pretty. <laughs> if you have anything to say, convince the vice president first. Am I supposed to trust you because I don't? <sighs> she hasn't had any food for days. Give her a glucose injection. I have a meeting later, so if you would excuse me. Sorry. Madame Z takes her thermocup and leaves the room. The world becomes silent again. There are barely any other sound except the slight electrical buzzing. I did expect you would have learned your lesson in such a long time. Timekeeper. Now, I'm more used to calling you Fairton. Are we, were we friends? Are we friends? I have changed. Huh. Have you? Are you still suffering from those pointless things? Those things? 
He shakes her head, rise, shift onto the screen. The Psycube amplitude is sleeping in a repeated fixed pattern. Bertin doesn't give her a response. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Can I have some nummies now? I have to pull. <laughs> it appears to explore the noises and riots in your mind. Sunlight eases people's mind and endows diamonds huh? with glowing luxury. Good day, my lord. You're too kind visiting me. Lord broken ideas for improvement in power. Hey, Claude. Oh, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch anything anymore. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh! Artificial somnambulism device are now available for use. Okay, so I just did the 1.4 update and I am overwhelmed, so give me a second to explore the new things. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna click. Oh! Wow. And who give, gave them the permission to be so sweet? <laughs> um, wow. Th okay, thank you. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, the, the thing that popped up when I opened the game. Maybe... Is it a 5-star selection? That would be crazy. Uh, 27 days left. I will do it maybe another time. Right now, I just want to play. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Here. Yes. Last time I did the first two. And then I unlocked... Uh, the artificial somnambulism that I don't know if you are interested in seeing or not. I recorded the first uh, few, I don't remember what. Wah! Ah! Didn't mean this! Okay, <laughs> sorry. I was saying... The first two. Yes, I recorded the first one and a half, maybe. Just to farm, to get the drops. <laughs> um, and I don't know if you are interested in seeing this or if I can do it on my own. Let me know. And just in case, I will do it all in one breath and I'll post it. <laughs> um, but I keep getting distracted. So if I remember correctly, we are like in a in kind of a dream or something. This is Madame Z. Vertin uh, and I don't remember her name, but she is a four star. So, let's do these traces. Unless, yes, I have to do them. Okay, I remember correctly. It's been a while since I played the, the main story. A touch of fresh green. The round eye is blinking alone. You can hear the sound it makes everywhere. Take it along. All right, fights. Okay. Nom nom. I'm over leveled, of course. I don't like to resort to violence. Oh, untouchable. happen. The chant of the incantation echoes here. After a character has a three star incantation, minus max. Why? I don't understand. Just like real time. But okay. Croaking. A frog? This large? Oh, Vertin, Mini Vertin, so cute, I forgot. <laughs> this is the same background as. Uh, um. What was it? It's one of the farming area. Maybe pneuma analysis or something. If we're here, a design of its own kind. Just design like of its own. Oh, it worked. Fun. Time to make up, gentlemen. Lovely. It's all right. Oh no, that's not lovely at all. Well, I think you're dead anyway. So like. B b b b bye. <laughs> it's one wave, so we're Gucci. Sorry if I'm especially pale today. The no. black tint Did isn't even helping it. <laughs> or should I say, it's the lighting. No. I promise. <laughs> okay. The green is yours from now on. A frog? Was that actually a frog? <laughs> the representation of a frog? Oh, it actually was a frog. I thought you used to awaken. Oh. It's for, um, probably for insight. Oh, Ila Aborea? What is that? The petite ones that are good at jumping often hang around the lakes or groves. They can always make it to under the leaves before the rain drops. 
That is how the students uh, who pay attention at class locate where they are uh, and catch them with their own hands. Okay. I guess. Next one. Oh, newspaper. A record of a day in Laplace Rehabilitation Center. Try to understand. Oof. 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 Oh my god. Oh goodness. Okay, you want me to read that? Fine. <laughs> Okay, 7.30 to 8.30, patrol the lobby and the surrounding areas. 8.30 to 9.30, reported for a duty at the reception and received one visitor. One visitor? Interesting. Reciting the whole employee's number? Can anyone do actually do that? <laughs> yes, they can actually. They did it uh, in one of the... in, in uh, Jessica's uh, story event. <laughs> They recited sonettos all the time, and I was like, I'm not reading that. <laughs> I should write it down, though. Maybe one day it will be important. <laughs> um, 9.32, 9.35, done with breakfast. P.S. The nut scones today was a bit hard. Oh, I ate it <laughs> when it's so hard. It, it might break your teeth, actually. Um, 9.35 to 12.30, reception time, smile, Sandy smile. <laughs> Who is Sandy? <laughs> Uh, 12.30 to 1.30, lunchtime, roast spinach with potato and roast pork chop. Sandy, are you okay? <laughs> Sandy, your, your, all your time is scheduled. <laughs> 1.30 to 2 p.m. Uh, but I guess this is just a work, a work day. Uh, reception time, never had a pork chop this small. Oh, dang. Uh, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Um, reception time, where on earth is the 12th issue of Weird Tales? Who would steal a stupid pulp magazine? <laughs> Damn it, somebody tell me the ending! <laughs> Look it up! Oh no, wait! I don't have the internet. This is sad, actually. <laughs> what a mood! 3pm <laughs> to 3.05. Reception time. <laughs> Pew, smile, send his smile again. 3.05 uh, to 4.05. Reception time seems to be uproar in, the, in other areas. Uh, I think uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh no! Okay, bathroom isn't scheduled, the fuck? <laughs> um, 4 or 5 to 4 or 10, reception time, okay, um, that was uh, just 5 minutes, seriously? <laughs> 4 10 to 5.30 pm, reception time, Amanda should have reported for duty much earlier. She was late for unbelievably 45 minutes last time. Damn. Uh, 5.30 to 6.30, reception time, great, she's late. Late. <laughs> For how much longer do I have to sit in this town today? Uh, 6.30 to 7, take a deep breath, send this and smile again. Only 30 minutes to go. Oh my goodness. This seems like hell. Um, 7... What? These are in numbers. Apple? Heavenly Way... Dra what happened to Sandy? 8 to 9. Wait, what? What? What happened in this hour? 8 to 9, help deal with the freaking emergency. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say freaking. <laughs> Somebody please lock these lunatics. They are running towards the corridor. Request for leave, Sandy. Time 3 days. Reason mental trauma. Damn, what happened? Somebody lock these lunatics. They are running towards the corridor. So... Vertin seems to be in some sort of uh, non, not really hospital, but kind of. Maybe are the lunatics in here with us? <laughs> um, stall key. So, so I'm guessing it's the one that is stalked. The stall key. It is immoral to stalk others, uh, and we all know that. Yes. Why do you have to specify it, if we all know that? I'm weirded out. Stanky, part three. Hello, oh. this is Sonetto, the chief assistant of the Foundation's timekeeper. My employee number is sf 38 0 0 0 0 0 0 8 0 1 1 0 2 Y. Now I remember why I didn't want to read it. For me? Oh, is it where, where Vertini is? Please present your ID. You're so baby, missed you. Hold that crystal with your right hand until the color changes. So pretty. Let me just... Uh, okay, I'll analyze it better later. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> what is the shape of the sun? A sphere or a cube? Tendi? Is this you? <laughs> wow! So pretty! Sorry. A sphere or a cube? What? A sphere. Kind of. Which is edible? Rubber, cabbage, or carbuncle? What? Cabbage. What? Does the rain come down from the sky or the other way around? Can be both. You're good to go. What kind of... Take these materials with you. The visitor guide is between the second and third page. Go in from the left, turn right twice, and take the lift. Keep walking and you will see the ward. I totally did not listen to this wait. <laughs> I was uh, amazed at the... Wow. The futuristic vibes. What uh, um, time period is this supposed to be, actually? The foundation time period. Sorry, I got lost. Um, uh, take this material with you, the visitor guide uh, is between the second page and the third page. Go from last. Okay, just the directions. I see. Thank you. Is there anything else I should know? Just leave the number out next time. Oh, will you? Oh. Huh? The number? The, the, the ID number? The receptionist disappears once again behind the counter. Is it actually Sandy that hates uh, identification number? <laughs> the nurses seem busy here. The registration is also more rigorous than it was before. I wonder if this is because of the storm. Probs. Turn right again. Hmm? But there's only one way and it goes left. Did I miss any crossings? Secret room? Maybe she would, She said to leave out the room number? And not the, the, the identification? Sonetta looks back over her shoulder. A shadow swiftly appears around the corner. <gasps> Hi. What's that? Indeed. You should tell me about this. Okay. <laughs> she goes to the corner. There's only a machine with a shaking console. Hmm. Console, sorry. Maybe I'm seeing things. Nah, trust yourself, girly. <laughs> You're not crazy until you actually are. Okay, <laughs> wait. Um, the buildings of Laplace Scientific Computing Center have been clearly designed. A crossing is hidden in this corner. Mm -hmm. So, here is the junction to the right. It was hidden, though. Sonetta walks to the junction and disappears into the light. Behind her, one of the doors in the hallway is open. A shadow follows her into the I didn't finish reading. And I didn't skip it, by the way. Footsteps, some... Stop it! It follows Sonetta. <laughs> it always cuts me off, speeding up. Oh, stocky. It speed, sped up, speeds up. Slowing down. It slows down as well. Well then. Let's go faster and faster. Until the shoes are about to be lifted from the ground and now run. I don't know if I did that correctly, actually. What happened? Press every button here to buy some time. Who was that? Indeed. A disoriented patient or a man a spy or... I don't think so. I can't get away from them. And I will not bring danger it. to the timekeeper. I will catch this person. Oh, you are so diligent. I love you. I missed Sonetto, my goodness. <laughs> She was an past event, and I played only a, the, the event this, this month. Well, yes, today. It's still February. Okay. <laughs> uh, the elevator stops at the 15th floor. It's rather empty and spacious here. One can only hear Sonetto's footstep, footsteps, sorry, aside from the ever-going automatic broadcast in the building. The Rehabilitation Center is established to provide effective medical services and trainings to the patients for their bodily functions to be restored. Thank you for the exposition. I love this for me. This center is managed by Laplace Scientific La Computing Place. Center. If I see. If you have any special requirements or have encountered any suspicious persons, please move to the ground floor lobby for help. We should do that, but maybe not now. Or maybe now. But it's not La Pl Laplace. It's a. Uh... Wait. What did she say? Fuck. Well. She said again. If you are distant from the lobby, please press the yellow button next to the fire hose cabinets. 
The security on your floor will come to assist shortly. Amazing! They really thought of everything. The footsteps appear again. What? Ow! They're here. Ow! We took the elevator. Are there stairs? <laughs> How did we not hear the elevator first? <laughs> I don't see any cabinets. That's fine. Cabinets? Oh, oh, for the yellow button. If no help or assistance has come to you in time, you may take action to defend yourself. We got this. A free wake-up procedure will be administered on any unresponsive persons, if any. Fight, fight, fight! Good. Just Was that a I fight? Mean. The sanitary trolley is parked at the next turn. I've left the biggest garbage bag on it. He suddenly speeds up and quickly turns into the corner. The unknown follower becomes anxious and runs, in, and runs to the corner. <gasps> Ooh! We got them! Who is this? <gasps> huh? Do I know this voice? Who are you? Speak up! Why are you following me? I don't think I... Wait! The follower refuses to respond. It scratches the bag to cover its face and tries to desperately escape. Stop! You're not getting away! They don't seem like they have bad intentions. The bag is struggling with all efforts. It is a bottle of dignity. Cianetta feels it is dripping away from her grasp. Uh, so she pulls out her wand. Whoever you are, may the peace be with us! Ikea, I can't see very well. I saw grey. So, who are we fighting? Oh, <laughs> a wee garbage can. A garbage bag, sorry. <laughs> I love this. Amazing. So, um, I think uh, grey and I see a leaf. Is it possible that it's you? And those were your hair. You are leafy. You are leafy girl. Do I have other leafy girls? Okay, let's just kick it. Kick I it's us. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. the enemy has extremely high mental defense, yet relatively low reality defense. Oh, I think my wife, Tenant, is, um, is reality damage, so we should be fine. Any ally who deals reality damage is recommended in this battle. I would love if you... I would have loved if you had said it before I started this, but okay. Sorry, <laughs> I'm so overpowered, okay. it doesn't really matter. Oh, you do mental. Shit. You do reality. And you do mental. Okay. Well. <laughs> um, let's do our best Stop and me. see how much damage we can do with uh, first mental. We are so OP, it doesn't matter. Thank not that much damage. It's fine. It's not tragic. <laughs> Damn! I should pay attention. I didn't look at it properly. Did I see something similar? Intriguing. Isn't it? Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, definitely. Tenant does way more, but... Uh, She's so strong, it doesn't matter. Peace and love! Peace and love! Peace and love! Okay. And can confuse bonk, bonk, bonk. And we are done. Unless I then look at the waves. No! It's Matilda! I will pray for you. Sorry. How oh, did I not recognize the accent? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see her again! <laughs> I just finished the event when she's in. I love it! Oh my goodness! So I'm gonna get to know her even better now. Um... Let's do one more. Or maybe two more. I think I have enough time for that, yes. Oh, let's see, there you go, my girlie. Oh, I don't see anything else around of interest. Mm, new blood. The new blood will rush into the gigantic body. Making every effort to serve it. Okay. It's a freebie. Matilda? <gasps> it's you? <laughs> this is so cute! Oh my goodness! It is spoilery! 
can I please see that th a thumbnail? Oh, maybe I should use the babies as th a, thumb a thumbnail. Sorry, I can't do the th <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I I thought it was someone suspicious. So, oh, oh, she's flashy. Matilda buries her face in her palm and shrugs her shoulders. Matilda, are you all right? Can I ship this? It's so cute. <clears throat> Matilda gives Sonetto a push and steps back. Her face, her face blushes. Oh my god, I'm shipping. <laughs> uh. Sonetto, come on, let's do. <laughs> How dare you? Attack the monitor student in primary defense and disturb the peace in public. You. Well, uh, you were the one that was sneaking. As your classmate used to be, I'm obliged to stop you from making a scene here and disturbing the patients. I'm... I'm here to give you my warning. Okay. He suddenly runs toward the other end of the hallway before Sonetto can possibly react to it and do something. Please wait. Bump? Ouch! Oh. Oh! Isn't it the Sonneteer? And our outstanding graduate. Sonneteer? Is that where... Is Sonetto not, uh, like, uh, her actual name or something? Is it uh, a name that comes uh, from something else? I thought it was some acute mania patient getting out, waiting mm -hmm. for my fancy transcranial magnetic stimulation therapy. I don't know what for the words you said. Wait, no, fancy? Transcranial? I know what it is. Magnetics? Okay, stimulation therapy. Actually, I understand what it says. Why? Why did I act stupid? <laughs> Ah, uh, it hurts. What? Sonetir? How would I have anything to do with her? Mm. I'm Matilda Buanish, the top three students in school, the monitor assistant, and the speaker of graceful oh? French. Monitor assistant, I see. And the speaker of graceful French? <laughs> Sorry, I did not clock it until I read it. <laughs> top three, but Sonetto is also very good. <gasps> Aren't uh, Sonetto inverting the other two, maybe? None shall forget my name after making the acquaintance of me. Vertin wasn't very studious, though. I didn't. It seemed like. I guess no one will remember the third place. Oh! <gasps> so rude! <laughs> Quack! Go away! Go! Don't stand in my way! <laughs> Matilda, please take. Take? Matilda runs away without looking back. Sonetto stands there with the hand handkerchief in her hand. That's so cute. Sorry. <laughs> He's about to give it to Matilda. <sighs> she just ran away like that. There's even garbage dust on her hair. <laughs> Poor thing. I didn't know she was the one following me. I shouldn't have acted in haste. No, you did your best. You acted out of concern for Vertin. All right, get down to business. Sonetto, you are here visiting the timekeeper, right? Follow me. Okay. Such a cutie. We missed her so much. She's one of my favorites. Maybe because uh, it's one of the only few people that I met. A little bird told me you went to visit Virgin. Is that right? That I met and, uh, and uh, got to know better. Yes. Oh, who are you talking to? How is she doing? Oh my. This is an introduction of a character with evil tendencies, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> if uh, she isn't at least morally grey, my name is not... Uh, I cannot say my name right now, wait. <laughs> Just like the other patients. Okay. Unconscious. Artificial somnambulism oh, therapy shall be good for her. It's been four years since she became the timekeeper. She surely needs a break. Okay, did she not have a leave? Maybe she always have to be on the clock or like, uh, is it on call or something? It seemed like it on the the very first uh, part that I played, that they, she was summoned uh, abruptly. Yes, and I have no other opinion about this, Madam Vice President. That's a very... Huh, your phrasing doesn't make it seem like it. <laughs> I'm here for another issue. Okay. 
Madame Z places a stack of files on the desk. The proposal of additional manpower submitted by the House of Integratus. I have given it consideration. It's not worth a committee hearing. I don't know what that means. Wait. The proposal of additional manpower submitted by House of Integratus. What is House of Integratus? I have given it consideration. It's not uh, a committee hearing. It's not worth a committee hearing. Okay. What, you, what was your conclusion? Are you here to talk about dead plans? Dead plans? Yes. Because I have the exact opposite view. Huh? Verton's suitcase will not be affected by the storm, just like the buildings in our headquarters. Which means she will soon be able to form a team, indirectly controlled by the Foundation. She didn't want this, I think. <laughs> I suggest putting her in command of an independent autonomous unit with enough support. They should soon become another reliable force of the Foundation. This is very good, maybe. Autonomous, independent autonomous unit that is kind of with the foundation. This seems like a little bit of freedom. At least freedom of action. And also, this is kind of dangerous for them. She should say no, because <laughs> if Mertin actually has enough manpower, she might form like an army of sort to go against anything that she doesn't like. She, they would make her so powerful. And it also facilitates our relationship with Burton. Facilitate your relationship with Burton? Is Burton actually just autonomous too? Already, I mean. The people Burton brought back with her. Constantine. Who are they? You are so pretty. But... Uh, you look rich and I don't trust rich people. <laughs> No, I don't mean that. I... well, yes, but no. <laughs> I was gonna say... You look in charge and the Foundation right now doesn't really have a good impression on me. I don't have a good impression on the Foundation, I was saying. I don't know if the phrasing was correct, sorry. <laughs> so I read it. Arcanists who have stable personalities, good command over their arcane skills, and some social experiences. I love how they... Um, they explained the, the mechanics of combat. If you ask me, they are some pitiful exiles who lost everything in the storm. Potato, potato. <laughs> so desperate, horrified, and overwhelmed, longing for something stable to hold on to. Yes! And? <laughs> Virgin is not here. Only the Foundation can give them what they want. Shut up. But what can they give us in return? Vertin is not here right now. Why would they want something from you in the meantime? Maybe, maybe it's worse than I think it is. I mean, Vertin's condition. The innate arbitrariness of Arcanists are questioning our beliefs of mankind's supremacy because they have nobler blood. <sighs> Even of Madame course, Z's. the Foundation <laughs> needs new blood. Especially those... Those? Who are highly obedient and know the importance of order. That isn't exactly Regulus. <laughs> That's why these poor refugees need no independent unit or autonomy. See, it would be very bad for someone like her to give... Uh, to give out... to give out... Uh, uh, that permission, that kind of permission. Or that kind of autonomy. They need the guidance of disciplines. A teaching more comprehensive than what's been given to those naive children in school. I see. So, what you want is a group of dumb puppets. Okay, I'm liking you a little better, Madame Z. I'm sorry I doubted you. I love your jacket, by the way. If there was something like this uh, to buy, I would actually spend a fortune to get it. It's so pretty, so beautiful. I'm always the optimist in the room, and you know that, <laughs> Miss Z. Miss Z seems already tired of your shit. <laughs> this won't be so much of a dead plan if one day they can prove they are not some dumb puppets. Does she mean that she's gonna give them auto autonomy if they are not dumb, dumb puppets? Why would you give, give them autonomy if they are not willing to serve you or fight for you or like get some 
I'll be feeling down. <laughs> I don't know how to explain myself. I'm very sorry. Um, sure, let's do another one. How many chapters does this have? If we do five... Um, if we do five and they are 15 or 16, we can get this done real quick. Maybe, probably. I hope so. <laughs> I want to desperately get to the new chapter soon. <laughs> I'm very hyped. I want to meet the new characters too. But I didn't meet so many of the old ones, so I'm very hyped also to progress in general. Um, a deep sleep. Bodies breaking down into pieces. In... What is this word? Tetrahedrons. Oh, I know what a tetrahedrons is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> in tetrahedrons and cubes. Your head is a pretty... Octahedron. Okay. I don't know actually if they are read like this. But I, I'm doing my best. English is in my first language. <laughs> in case you are new. Um, um, Matilda is downstairs with someone that I don't know. Oh, it's a patient. Judging by the stripes. It looks like a pyjama. Um, and we are up here. Are you having troubles down there? Are you okay? Let me see. Let's go. A deep sleep. <gasps> Good time. Maintenant. Tu calme. <laughs> easy now, easy. Mais je n'ai suivi personne. Je me promenais simplement dans le couloir, comme d'habitude. C'est elle qui était mal intentionnée. I didn't follow anyone. I was just uh, talk taking a walk in the hallways as usual. She was the ill-intentioned one. Oh, baby. It was she who jumped on my back. Oh, baby. Oh, no, don't kill her. Don't cry. Oh, I must have looked miserable when I got away. Oh, pride is so heavy. <laughs> That's why I think I don't have much pride in me because I never get embarrassed for her. Almost anything, actually. I'm like, I, I'm too chill to get embarrassed most of the time. <laughs> je voulais juste lui dire que je lui ai lu dans la dernière divination. Les amis qu'ils ont amenés sont peut-être en danger. What didn't you tell her? Sorry, I, I read it now. I just wanted to tell her what I read from the latest divination. Her friends, no, the friends they brought may be in danger. Mais je ne sais pas quand Verta sera de nouveau consciente. C'était plus ou moins une personne remarquable. Uh, don't know when Vertin would be conscious again. She was more or less a remarkable person. Sans <laughs> que c'est la responsable de son étau maintenant. Mais je ne sais pas si je dois être en colère ou triste pour ça. Not to mention, she is now son étau supervisor. Don't know if I should be angry or sad about this. Son étau doit être terriblement inquiet pour elle. Oh, so you like Sonetto? It doesn't look like it. That's so cute. Oh my god, you're a Tsundere. <laughs> oh, Sonetto must be terribly worried about her. Oh my god, wish I could be of some help. <gasps> She's lovely. I wish she would be honest, though. In front of people. <laughs> okay, it's been a long time since we last met. Her hair has grown and smelled nice. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Ah, You're just you giving me fuel! <laughs> you, you, they never fuel me for this from the ships for the ships, sorry. <laughs> I got entangled because I'm too excited. <laughs> Boucle la! Tais-toi! Tu es Matilda! La oh. personne qui va battre les meilleurs de la classe! Cut it, shut up! You are Matilda, the person who will beat the best in class. She stops talking to herself and hears the sound of metal clattering near her. Then a wind, an ice cold wind. Skull. Excuse me? A weary voice emerges from her back. It is a man in a patient's gown. Huh? Who are you? Yeah, your skull has fallen. I was picking it up for you. Skull? Is skull a word for something else? What are you timber chambering about? Are you a patient here? Where's your assigned care worker? I saw it. I saw it all. Bodies breaking down into pieces. The tetrahedrons oh. and cubes. Tetrahedrons. It's a pretty octahedron. I, 
can't let your octahedron fall to the ground too. Be careful with your ears. A weird. Matilda steps back and moves away from the patient. She notices an iron an iron collar on his neck. A common auxiliary apparatus, apparatus in the rehabilitation center. There is a bunch of key in his hand, with some red stains on the sharp pens. Shit. Luckily, the emergency button in bright yellow is located a few meters away behind him. Matilda takes a, a deep breath. Thanks for reminding me. I will take good care of myself. See? This is my orb. Come up. Touch it. What's its shape? This is... Wow, you're so... I know she's smart, but when, <laughs> when she freaks out sometimes, I, I, I forget. <laughs> and I'm always so amazed when she does things like this. His fingers turns gray and pale, a sign of frostbite. Ooh. Oh damn! He tightens his fingers around the keys, like holding many sharpened knife in his hand, and charges at her wildly. I see you didn't learn your lesson then! You have wounded a caretaker and took the keys! I'm obliged to take you down! Ooh! May the peace be with us! Oh my god, so he did that thing that they all say at the foundation, may the peace be with us. Because Sonetto always says it as a voice line, but Matilda said it twice. Also, last time I, I, I think I looked at the recommended element and and not at the actual element of the enemy because it was star and it would have been Matilda of course because she wears grey <laughs> I'm a little stupid, I'm sorry <laughs> um, um, okay oh, I can do this um, where is the boy? here me? yes, you did you find something? I found you <laughs> okay, um, um let's go I don't like to resort to violence but actually I like real violence <laughs> I love the enemy design. I don't know what these are. Ah, collars. I see. What do the collars do? I'm gonna attack uh, not this one because I want to see the attacks actually. Wow. So I'm gonna do this uh, and not kill them if I can. Pitch. Easy job. Oh. Oh. Not kill them if I can. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not kill them if I can. Oh. The buff. And just the... Uh, oh, the keys! Why are keys sharp? <laughs> you, you shouldn't sharpen keys, keys like that. What kind of use? Wow! Wow! Sorry, I, I have to repeat it every time he said it. He said it. Easy job. Just as I am. Bonk, bonk. Hey. Flip it on? Yes. One wave only, so we're fine. They are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. Ah, the okay. storm took our friend from us. The storm. In fact, we all knew oh. this would have happened, but it took place too soon, caught us all off guard. Oh, they're talking about um, Schneider, maybe. Oh, and maybe also, um, um so the beast serpent. So sad. And there were only clothes left. Clothes? That's right. Oh, right! The, the feathers that I also have now in the in the home screen. Oh, sad. I've looked up the directory of Arcanus in the US in 1929. None of their family is on it. What? She was Greco's biological daughter. Schneider was a pseudonym. Yep. She faked, I think she faked being adopted. I clocked it later, by the way. <laughs> she faked being adopted or something to pass as an arcanist, if I'm not wrong. I haven't worked out the reason behind She this, used arcane but skills. But she was indeed. Yes. Sonata looks confused and painful. A human who casts arcane skills. Yes. I, same, I am also confused. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. It could help with my disease analysis. So maybe, oh, maybe the manus can do that. But the manus didn't seem to know that she was human. Mesmer Jr. adds something uh, to her report. She spins around uh, her uh, swivel. 
Must be this. Timekeeper has been diagnosed with type 2 trauma. Oh, do you know what that means? Nope. What? Kind of. I don't know much about psychology. It means she had suffered the same traumatic experience repeatedly. Oh, CPTSD? Even so, she showed no behavioral or cognitive impairment. But Back then, as we held her down and put the helmet on her, she even advised me in an extremely calm manner. Oh! I agree with your judgment, but it's just for this time. He's so cool. She was the bellwether of the breakaway incident after all. I'll say she's been well behaved this time. Bellwether? I I thought Timekeeper is receiving treatment for her low spirit. But you said you held her down. Oh, that's just another description of the method used for the same purpose. The aim was to ensure Verton was unconscious and taken back. I don't like this very much. That's the direct order from the vice president of the committee. This explains it. This explains everything, actually. <laughs> she wasn't unconscious when she arrived. They made her unconscious. And they could keep her unconscious as much as, as long as, as they want. The order from on high was given on the premise of rational thinking and consideration over pros and cons. You are not questioning the reasoning of mankind, are you? I would never. Actually, yeah. <laughs> but I'm guessing she's keeping her down. Or uh, to covet... Uh, her new, um, how do you say recruiter? <laughs> um, uh, the, the new people she brought. <laughs> I am not. <clears throat> Sharing the same set you of should. values is the reason I'd like to share these interesting details with you. Of course, if you were a pureblood human, I would appreciate you more. It turns out we swivel, I think, to the artificial sonambulism device. <clears throat> Verton's magnetic field always maintains a nuanced balance. She barely dreams proactively. So I have to deploy different dreams to search for the very first dream which oh. reflects the source of her trauma. Oh. How much longer is this therapy going to take, in your view? Amazing question. However long <clears throat> it takes. As long as I receive a new order. They are keeping her down. That's use your power. I hate it. Sorry. <laughs> so need to send up food, isn't it? <clears throat> so none of these have been applied for the Same. timekeeper's well-being. Same. The, the end gesture was appropriate <laughs> for how pissed you seem. <laughs> yes. What's wrong with you, Sonetto? What's wrong with you? <sighs> I... I don't know. He's fine. Don't worry. Sorry. I overreacted. I don't feel quite myself today. They are kind of... Uh, they have the same uh, tinge of monotone in the voice. I can't tell what's wrong. Perhaps I ate something bad for breakfast. She's not monotone, by the way. She uh, is very expressive when uh, she, she talks, but I think you can hear the um, roboticness of, of her speech. Go back and rest if you're feeling unwell. Don't be too hard on yourself. I don't know how to explain myself. Thank you. Please, take good care of the timekeeper. I'll be on my way. Mesper Jr. watches her walk out of the room. There is confusion on her face. She adjusts her cufflinks subconsciously. Sorry. Oh. The screen suddenly lights up. Particle groups start to flow on the screen. It is a dream initiated by the owner of the body. Oh. Huh? An amazing timing <laughs> and actually i don't know if it's amazing i don't know if it would have been better if sonetto was still there yes traces that we will do next time one single trace fantastic <laughs> but for this video i'm gonna stop here thank you so much for watching if you feel like it subscribe and i'll see you again next time Bye bye